Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Creepy Pasta. I took the liberty of going ahead and naming the front of the park. Let's see, no mechanic can possibly reach Monster Ride 1. Consider hiring. Also, let's see, there is a, there's a, um, there's a nightmare going on right now. I felt it would be better to add parks and everything, like, add, add all the stuff, add so that the people could, um, come in. So I reopened the park. Um, do I have mechanics? I don't think I even have mechanics. Um, I'm gonna need to get those staff in real quick. See, it makes things interesting. Basically, in this episode, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add, be adding the rest of the rides, adding staff, and customizing the park a little bit. Now, let's see. First, we're gonna wanna go to park management. Then we're going to want to go to staff. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, there's your problem. There is no staff. Okay, we're going to need a janitor, a mechanic, a security guard, an entertainer. He's got to be Pumpkinhead. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Um, we got the entertainer. We don't need an animal key uh, keeper yet. And I think one of each will be fine for now. So I guess I'll go on ahead and customize them. Mechanic 1, I guess you wear all black. Security Guard 1, you wear all black. Uh, entertainer, uh, I guess I'll leave him alone for now. There Wasn't there an option for the mechanics to wear, like, fancy clothes? Like, hang on, was it the mechanics or was it the janitors? Oh, it must have been the janitors, yeah. I love it. See, the janitors can wear, like, green, um, green skull stuff. I don't know where he is right now, though. Uh, let's see now. We're gonna need more lights. Lots and lots and lots more lights. Because see how dark it is? And the park's only open at night, so... Basically, there's gonna be, ba uh, it's gonna be a nightmare. Because I'm gonna have to try to keep up with uh, all the guest demands. Open all the rides and get everything running. We're going to add cherry milkshake, raspberry milkshake, strawberry milkshake to all these different t uh, stand types, synchronized uh, stands of this type, and then ice cream. Le I always let the peeps decide how much they want of each item, so that's always best. And that's open, so I'm going to want to come over to the pumpkin stand and make sure that that's opened up and that peeps can buy whatever they want from there. Let's see now. Medium slice of pie, small slice of pie. Check this to add ginger to your slice of pie. Check this to add maple syrup or ice cream. And you can um, like highlight all of them so that each one of them is available. They can add extra large slice of pie with cream, maple syrup, or ginger. Like any size they choose. We're going to open it up. And then we're going to go over to guest chooses amount. That way they can choose the amount of toppings they want instead of it being a predetermined amount. Okay. So, oh, this Q path isn't connected. See, see, it's a nightmare. Um, Q paths. Creepy. I didn't quite finish it. Okay, so now it's, it's finished. Det oh, blast it. I didn't mean to add that there. To tell you the truth, I really don't feel like I want to name the different rides and such, but I don't feel like they need to be too different, because I mean, they're already really nice. Uh, I just don't like them being called like Monster Ride 1 or Gallows 1, you know? I want to take the numbers out. The numbers are weird. We're going to open this, and they sell spooky top hats for $1.80. Guests can already select what size. Uh, this Q path is not connected. So I left a lot to do in the last episode. Oh, 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 okay. That'll that'll work. So yeah, they've been trying to get to it. Peeps have been trying to get to it. Let's exit the Q path, then make sure that this is open. Okay, it's open. And da da da. We're going to need lights, lots and lots of lights, on our current paths that we have. Uh, scenery items. 
Not foliage or fences. Oh, I gotta come out of all these and narrow down the search results to just what we need. Gothic uh, bench lamps. Um, why is it so bright now? I need to see. I need to see the paths at night. I need to see dark, dark paths. Well, these people are on it. Uh, let's see. Oh. Let's add a light every few feet, I think. And then I can just add more later as I need them. One here. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I needed. One here. One here. I'm going to try to make them symmetrical so they match up pretty good. Ah, uh, let's get rid of that one. Ah, oh, I meant the light, not the path, genius. And that's going to be crazy tiles. Then we're going to go back. The entertainer's doing good. That's another thing I like about the sandbox mode. Is the second you start it out, all of your um, staff are already fully trained. In the storyline, you have to train them yourself. <laughs> and it costs money to do that, too. Oh, I can't wait to add those. Okay, so. Maybe one here. And... Let's see. Let's exit out of this. And then add a light here, and a light here, and a light here. Try to add lights where it starts getting really dark. And ooh, it's pretty dark in this corner. And gonna add a light there. I love it. Peeps are getting on the park, they're getting on the rides, they're getting on everything. So we're gonna go on ahead and add more rides and more stuff for them to get on. And then October 31st on Halloween, we're going to ride all the rides and preview all of the rides together. And that's what the basically the whole episode will be about. It'll be great. Let's see. Let's add... What do we... Where did we end off at with our rides? We had the ghost house ride. Ah, that's where we ended off at when I put the ghost house ride on the top of the hill. Let's add the creepy mirror house. The mirror maze. Let's see, ooh, I like the idea of putting it way over here. Now the only bad part is the park's going to be freaking out for a while trying to tell me um, guests can't reach this ride, guests can't reach this ride, and such and such. Well, of course they can't reach the rides yet. I can't build the paths already, you know, because I, I just, I don't, oh no, I wanted it facing the other way, I wanted it facing the other way. Uh, egg, no, d delete. Delete. Delete! But I wanted it facing the other way. Mirror maze. Okay, Z button, Z button, Z button. Where's the front? Is that the front? There it is. Yes, perfect. Um, and I can't connect the paths all the time, like every single time, because I got so much to do to keep the peeps happy. Oh my gosh, that's that's too much Q. Uh, so that's the that'll be the Q path. We need to focus on the length of the... Um, the exit path, because that's the one we need to connect to the traditional path. Yes. You didn't actually see it, but there was a nightmare of a time trying to get the park entrance actually connected again to the actual um, sign on the building, because whenever I started it up, peeps couldn't get in because there was like a huge gap at the start of the park. Like, you, you couldn't actually get up that hill because the whole hill was, like, a, like edged. It, it was a nightmare. So I had to fix it. All right. Yes, it's connected now. So peeps are going to come over here. They're going to explore around a little bit. And then they're going to find this, which I need to connect to this. There we go. And see, see how I add those corners and edges so it's not just a straight generic path. It's got a little bit of, you know, diversity to it. And plus we can add stuff here. People are having trouble getting to the entrance of Pumpkin Pies 1. Okay, let's check on Pumpkin Pies 1. Why are they having... Ah, that's why. And now it's connected. See, that's how they get to the entrance. Nice. Isn't that nice? Alright, anybody that wants Pumpkin Pies 1 can go get Pumpkin Pies 1. Items at Pumpkin Pies 1 are too cheap. Let's raise those up a bit. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, shoot, I'm putting that down. Let's make this like $2. Or, or like, 
These, this one will be two dollars, and this one's two ten. It'll be two fifty. You know that's stupid. I should have just ignored that message because this is a custom park. Um, when I watched uh, some other YouTubers do their custom parks, their items were free. It's a custom park. Uh, I don't need to worry about price, prices. Why price gouge? Um, I have infinite number of money. I'll make them free later. Everyone should just have a great time. Plus, it'll probably attract more guests to our park. Now, we can build the spooky wheel. It is the Halloween equivalent of the Ferris wheel. My goodness, there's so much park to cover. Okay, I gotta put some stuff way out. Or at least focus down one corner so I can get it, you know, somewhere. Ooh, what about a Ferris wheel on top of a hill? Now, that's a view I can get used to. Uh, let me, no, angle, angle camera. Uh, I don't know if I really like it on top of the hill. It might clip through the mountainside. Um, let's put it out somewhere near, somewhere near our, um, haunted house here. Little area here. Stuff with stilts. Yeah, now it sort of looks odd that it's way off in the distance. So, we do want to put it up. Probably... Where's the entrance and exit? Probably here. So let's get that, whoa. Let's get that entrance on this side, if it'll obey me. Exit here, and build some paths for it. Okay, so let's at least get the Q path. Spooky, spooky Q path. Down, and then zoom in, and make a straight path. And then, wait, wait, not yet. Over one, please. Down. And then straight. Whoop. And then down. And then straight. That's straight, right? And then down. Wait. No. Over this way. You have won an award. Tidiest Park. Ha-ha. See, we're already winning awards. Love it. Gotta have awards. Awards let you know you're doing things right. Well, at least with <laughs> uh, park tycoons. Uh, wow, we haven't reached the bottom yet. Okay, whatever. There, finally, we're at the bottom. Now we can focus on the entrance path, which I'm going to make it not leaves just yet. How about crazy paving? Uh, I like the spooky, though. Uh, let's try to connect it to this ride somehow. Oh man, there's a long way to go. Let's just pull and drag and make all sorts of nice little spots for stalls and items and like stuff we want to sell. What in the heck is over here? Some kind of teeny tiny itty bitty little bush. What's, uh, it's probably not straight enough to actually, yeah, if I had to, if I had to guess, it's probably not. Oh, okay, so the bush takes up more than one space. What in the world are you doing? Oh, that's right, I forgot I could raise those up. Okay, we got that connected, so they can come over here. And no mechanic can possibly reach Ghost Ride 1. Ghost House Ride 1. Consider moving your mechanics or hiring more. Uh, this is Ghost House Ride 1, correct? A mechanic can reach it now. Uh, let's go over here, and we're going to want to add the path and connect it over here so now people can see this area and come over here and see the queue and be like oh that looks great let's go ride it exit out of this open this don't have to test it because it's not a uh, coaster go ahead and open that bad boy up I love the lighting um, we can customize the colors and operating modes of everything later on now they said no mechanic can possibly reach Ghost Ride 1. Can you reach it now, mechanic? Uh, let's check. Let's open, let's uh, click on Ghost, when you want to do this, click on Ghost House Ride 1, then go to Maintenance, then go to Call a Mechanic to this ride, then if you know which mechanic you're actually going to be calling to the ride, go to Park Management, go to Staff, Click on that mechanic, and then click on follow mode. It's going to zoom in on that mechanic, and 
and where it says he's roving but it doesn't say where he's actually going click to expand roving he's fully trained where 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 is he double click again there he is okay so let's pick him up uh, when you want to do this, make sure to pick him up. Details. Pick up. Be now he's being placed. He's in place mode. So we're going to look at our paths. And we're going to check to make sure that all paths are continuous along the entire flow. Now as you can see, these guests are starting to explore these paths. So they're actually getting to this area. By the way, I need to reopen that ride. So it looks like the path is fully continuous all along the way. Uh, we can't actually put him directly up on the ride for some reason. So we're going to put him here, click on the ride, and then say call mechanic. Call, call mechanic. He's not doing it. Why isn't he doing it? Why isn't he going up there? That's odd. Huh. The ride's open. Oh, wait. That's the exit. Oh, the queue. It's not connected. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, now it's connected. Okay, can he get there? I think he's gonna get there. Call mechanic. Going to inspect a ride. Ghost house ride one. Perfect. Okay, so he's gonna inspect that. Then we're gonna want to come over here to the mirrors, house of mirrors. Open that bad boy up, and we'll check the uh, consistency of the paths continuously as we go along and make sure that they're all connected and obviously I'm gonna have to wait a little bit to add the lights the guests are just gonna have to wing it for now because I have got a lot of rides to add and if you're wondering what I did with these little zombie topiaries as you'll notice they're in the shape of zombies I'm trying to make that into like a horde you know I'm gonna make a whole lot of them maybe add some animatronics sort of make that area, maybe add a maze, and make it look like a um, Day of the Dead sort of thing, or a, or a you know, House of a Thousand Corpses, or Dawn of the Dead, you know, um, sort of make it look like, you know, Seven Days to Die, Horde Night, or something. It's going to be good. But I might do that either, no, I can do that on camera, I'll just, um, I can use time lapse again. I love time lapse almost as much as I love coffee mmm sorry about that now let's add another ride mirror maze spooky wheel we got the spooky wheel we don't need transport rides just yet we want to make sure we've got all of our actual rides in there fully flushed out oh are we finally out of custom rides it's down to roller coasters now oh my uh, let's go for Cheshire Cats. They've got a really cool, like, Halloween-looking um, design on theirs. The Witching Hour, and then I'm going to go with the Black Cat Car. And obviously, with this one, I'm just going to build a pre-built design. Um, the coasters are the ones I really want to focus on making custom. And that I'll be using, uh, what do you call it? Um... Time lapse as well. Can't wait for that. That'll be great. Uh, we're gonna, uh, let's see, let's edge it over this way and then come over to this area, sort of get some stuff over in maybe this corner here. Ooh, that's gonna be tough to get to. But then again, that's what the transport rides are gonna be for. Uh, we're gonna make the entrance and exits. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna wanna customize those. Okay, let's zoom in real quick. And when you want to do this sort of thing, I'm sorry I'm turning this into a tutorial, I'm not trying to, but you want to go to vehicles, uh, wait, no, no, sorry, uh, let me make sure I've got it before I start teaching, before I start telling anyone else how to do it. Um, I know there was a way, Five details, that's got to be it, yes, okay, so choose an entrance for this ride you'll wanna probably uh, like overwrite your previous entrance like delete it select the theme I want Grim Reaper or Coffin I think that's what I got Coffin 
so let's can I can I destroy the previous oh it's already it's already on there okay so choose an exit for this ride and then we're gonna go with Grim Reaper oh well so it, it only has one entrance one exit there aren't any uh, oh well you can put it on the other side if you want but we're okay with that we're gonna close this and then we're gonna close this and then we're gonna go to paths and then we're gonna click on Q path spooky and then this down here and then this neutral and then down here and then neutral again maybe uh, let's go on ahead and hurry up and put it to the ground then that and now we're gonna wanna focus on I, I guess I don't wanna make the Q path too long I mostly wanna focus on the um, the walking paths uh, let's go with leaves for this one it's pretty far out down 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 oh look it's got like a bamboo sort of look to it I don't know if I like that how about we change it for just a, uh, just that one section to crazy paving uh, and then go with that and then go to the leaves so what's tarmac look like ooh no ooh, it's got sidewalks on it underwater paving maybe uh, nah probably I mean if I tried really hard to mess around with it but we're gonna want to zoom out and get some leaves on there who oh I like to paint the paths that's gonna look really nice when it's all finished and I'm kind of probably gonna want to add some like hills and valleys you know some terrain differentiation um, there's already a good amount of terrain differentiation with the hills on the sides and everything but you know you can never have too much and unless it's actually too much and we're gonna want to add this to the Q path and make sure that it's all queued up here so now it's connected close out of this we're on the ride don't need to test it because it's not a roller coaster open it and of course we'll add the music separately to all the other rides that looks nice doesn't it what about lights and tunnel lights where are the lights can I add lights hmm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to change I'm gonna have to check on that choose colors for the queue choose colors for the queue for the queue huh well it's all black now let's make something red see if that pops out no no does it no huh so it's kind of dark I want lights on it how do I select specific path tiles okay this is how I select specific path tiles I want to select a nice straight path the witching hour oh I can't edit it because it's not it's not custom so it's already open but nobody's gotten on it yet so let's add some lights maybe people can't find it uh, well then again it was just added we'll do that later let's focus on the rides I probably got time for one more ride because we got four minutes left so trans no 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 other let's load the other pre-design cat's eyes and then go with the other type of cart for Cheshire Cat love it let's put that out here Ooh, that looks nice and then we're gonna want to go with the entrance and exit so ooh, ooh, no no that's generic I hope I've got enough time to fix this details where's details details and we're gonna go with uh, what was it again ah choose an entrance do 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 we're not gonna change it we're just gonna choose it whoa 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 what are you doing? Oh, it fixed it. Okay. Choose an exit. And then Grim Reapers. Perfect. So, oh, it doesn't let me choose the position because it's not it's not custom, it's predetermined. So let's go let's go adventure with this one. Down. 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 I'm just gonna go straight down with that one. I don't feel like there's gonna be such a huge line. So we got our Q path here. Then we're gonna wanna connect it with some I guess crazy pavement since it'll match up real nice down and then neutral and then down and then connect it 
and we're gonna wanna do 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 paint that up make sure it's connected from now on I'll connect it to the Q path before I connect it to the traditional path just to make sure that I don't forget we're gonna paint that on there and then connect it to the actual walking path and I'll add lights and everything and some more rides in the next episode I hope you enjoyed this one and make sure to subscribe for updates on future content if you liked it a like would be much appreciated uh, add some comments in the comment section below if you want to name a ride and until next time take it easy my friends